Welcome to the Ages of Adam presentation. This presentation gives you an overview for the Time Emits Ages of Adam website. We will be working with ancient lunar solar calendars and those calendars that help us understand the calendars of the Holy Bible. My name is Clark Nelson. I am the author of Ages of Adam and webmaster for timeemits.com. Slide one of the presentation shows the Ages of Adam cover design. The moon at the top is for the lunar side and the sun symbolizes the solar side of the lunar solar calendar. The blue star represents the Jewish lunar solar calendar and the red cross embodies Christianity. Ages of Adam is subtitled Ancient Calendars of the Holy Bible. History and spirituality are combined in this amazing Bible study. Calendar research penetrates to the very core of time. Slide 2. Ancient calendars measure time according to the sun, moon, and stars. There are three forms of ancient calendars to consider. All three types of calendars measure differences between lunar months and solar sun time in the same way. The oldest lunar solar calendar systems known are the Jewish calendar, Egyptian calendar, and sun calendars of Mesoamerica. The Aztec, Incan, and Mayan calendars were Mesoamerican sister calendars that all share similar lunar solar calendar mathematics. Each calendar system spans hundreds to thousands of years. For example, the Jewish calendar dates from 3761 BCE, or before Common Era. The Egyptian calendar estimate begins 4236 BCE. Mesoamerican calendars began about 3113 BCE. Over the course of many lunar solar cycles, time accumulates. Foundational lunar solar calendar patterns are present in the early chapters of Genesis. If you had something that was, say, a hundred years old, it would likely be worth a great deal. Something 500 years old is worth even more and may belong in a museum somewhere. An artifact that is a thousand, two thousand, or even five thousand years old becomes a national treasure. At ten thousand years old or more, we are sure the item is priceless to the world. Any Holy Bible has this information. You may have the written knowledge in your home right now. Lunar solar calendars allow us to understand time as the ancient people once did. I will begin with some elementary patterns concerning the moon. Figure 1 shows the four phases of the moon. Our modern calendar is, of course, based upon 12 months. A lunar moon month always includes four phases, new moon, first quarter, full moon, and the last fourth quarter. The sacred seven-day week was used in ancient Bible times to measure the four phases of the moon. The typical ancient lunar month was 29 or 30 days. In the time of Noah, months were counted using 30 days. Average lunar months of 29.5 days are close to the more precise 29.53 days. We are not directly talking about the creative week, although most Jewish historians agree the moon and lunar phases were fundamental to early scripture. The moon was the earliest calendar instrument. Changes in the appearance of the moon provided the seven-day week. Originating with ancient interpretations of lunar time, divisions of seven days separate the four basic lunar phases. By actual observation, ancient calendar makers recorded 
approximations. A lunar month was determined by citing the new moon crescent. Lunar solar calendar foundations of the Jewish calendar extend from the earliest verses of scripture. Natural uniform motions of the heavenly spheres are the pivotal markers of lunar solar time reckoning. Interclary days were added to the lunar year of 12 moon months in order to complete our modern solar year of 365 days. The necessary intercalary days are best described as lunar solar separation time by God coming between lunar and solar times. 12 lunar months multiplied by an average 29.5 day month for 354 days to approximate the lunar year in equation 1. The moon was used to measure the lunar side of the lunar solar calendar. The transition from lunar side to solar side reckoning introduces the most vital component of lunar solar calendars. Twelve moon months of 29.5 days each count 354 days for a lunar year. The difference between a 365 day solar year and the 354 day lunar year is 11 days of lunar solar separation time in equation 2. In order for the lunar side to keep up with the solar side of the calendar, 11 days of lunar solar separation time must be accounted for every year. Human spirituality combines religious history with lunar solar calendar observation. This is the ancient link to men and women. Female fertility cycles have always been associated with the moon. The moon and monthly periods are represented by Eve, who was mother to all the living. On the other side of the lunar solar time channel, men were associated with daylight and the sun. Primitive theology assigned roles having male traits or masculinity with the standing stones of the Old Testament. The Baals were pagan deities that were identified by sacred pillars which also marked the rising and setting positions of the sun on the horizon. For a society dependent on agriculture, the pregnant female Astaroth watched over neighboring farms and groves. We are applying literal Hebrew meanings to some scriptures. For example, when God first divided day and night, he separated or came between daylight and darkness. Lunar solar calendar systems were built by expanding the idea of lunar solar separation time. The lunar side of the calendar refers to those times measured according to the moon. The solar side refers to those times measured according to the sun. A 365 day solar calendar year is the most common calendar instrument throughout all of history and the companion to lunar time keeping. The modern calendar rounds solar side reckoning to either 365 days or 366 days during leap years. Ancient people were often aware of the minor leap day fraction and generally lunar solar calendars were based upon sighting new crescent moons. Lunar solar calendar tools are developed to aid our reasoning. The time split actually is a very old concept that simply divides 11 days of lunar solar separation time by two. To maintain calendar complete days, whole numbers were used for computations. The time split tool occurs at the 360 day midpoint for any lunar solar calendar year. The first Ages of Adam video introduces you to the timeemits.com website. 
Presentation slides, videos, and full text for Ages of Adam are available. You may order Ages of Adam in hard print edition from Amazon or CreateSpace.com. Search for the title, Ages of Adam, My Name, Clark Nelson, Time Emits, or ISBN 159-109-5573. You may also purchase the PDF download through PayPal for only $9.95. Each section of Ages of Adam has a specific link. Other resources include articles and links to related sites. We identified certain facets of lunisolar calendars, the Bible, and associated prehistorical concepts leading to recorded time. Lunar months often counted 29 and a half days or 30 days. Ancient people chose to think mainly in whole number terms and rounded lunar and solar measurements accordingly. Some cultures followed lunar phases at seven day weeks. Equation one results in a 354 day lunar year. Others maintain solar side reckoning, which regularly accompanies star and planetary aspects. Equation two subtracts 354 days from a 365 day solar year to amount 11 days of lunar solar separation every single year. Nearly all ancient people relied upon some variation of lunar solar calendars in order to maintain agricultural seasons. Three subjects are of special concern, God, time, and calendars. Please understand that I don't want to offend anybody. We are dealing with quite possibly the oldest written evidence of lunar solar calendar operation in Genesis chapter 5. This portion of the Holy Bible is particularly sacred to me. Lunar solar objectives suggest more at stake than figures. Calendar knowledge gave ancient people direct access to supernatural events. Some 30 years ago, I encountered an incident that irrevocably changed my life, not just physically, but eternally too. By testimony, I tell you, I witnessed the writing on a page of a book disappear before my very eyes. The book was about the Jewish calendar. Imagine my fear of God. Time is a natural, uniform feature in our universe that simply happens. Time is an intangible thing that neither starts, nor stops, nor changes. Calendars are man-made. Calendars and clocks are human inventions that serve to quantify time. Ancient religions purposely held feasts and festivals to ensure sacred calendar information continued for generations to come. In the next video, you'll learn more about ancient lunar solar calendars. Early people knew how to split time and open doorways to the awesome power of God.